As learnt in session three, tools that support static testing help us in identifying the defects early in the development lifecycle, thereby improving the cost effectiveness of identifying and fixing the defects. This broad category can further be divided into review tools, static analysis tools, and modeling tools. Let us look at each category of tools for better understanding of their features. Review tools provide support to the review process. Typical features of these tools include review planning and process, storing review comments and communication with relevant people, tracking review comments, metrics collection, and reporting on key factors. Static analysis tools are normally used by developers as part of the development process and for component testing. The key aspect of these tools is that the code is not executed or run. Features of static analysis tools include support to calculate metrics such as cyclometric complexity or nesting levels, enforce coding standards, analyze structure and dependencies, aid in code understanding, identify anomalies or defects in the code. Modeling tools supports the validation of models of the software or system. Modeling tools are typically used by developers and can help in the design of the software. One strong advantage of both modeling tools and static analysis tools is that they can be used before dynamic tests can be run which enables any defects that these tools can find to be identified as early as possible when it is easier and cheaper to fix them. There are also fewer defects left to propagate into later stages, so development can be speeded up and there is less rework. Features modeling tools include support for identifying inconsistencies and defects within the model, helping to identify and prioritize areas of the modeling for testing, predicting system response, and behavior under various situations, such as level of load, helping to understand system functions, and identify test conditions using a modeling language such as UML.